Hello, in this lecture we're going to look at the Master Budget Part 6, Budgeted Balance Sheet. If you haven't taken a look at the other five, you might want to take a look at those first because we will be using components of those in order to compile the balance sheet. At the end of this, we will be able to list components of the Master Budget and compile the Budgeted Balance Sheet. This is going to be the components here. We started with the sales budget. We need to do it in this order. Sales budget. Then we have the production budget. And then the production budget will be used to make the direct materials budget, the direct labor budget, the overhead budget, as well as the capital expenditures budget, the selling and administrative budget. Then we're going to have the cash budget. Then we can put together the statements, the balance sheet budget, and the budgeted income statement, as well as the cash flow. We also had some other worksheets in order to calculate the income statement. We wanted to calculate the cost of goods sold. And in order to do that, we needed to have the cost of goods uh, manufactured. So that's going to be the process that we're going through in this case. And this one, we're going to focus in on the balance sheet, putting a lot of the stuff together in terms of the balance sheet. Remember when we think about the budget, we often think about the income statement, how we're gonna perform over time. The balance sheet is gonna be where we are at as of the end of that point in time. Where, where are we gonna be standing once the budget time period is over in terms of a balance sheet perspective. All right, so we've done this so far. We've already done the sales budget. That's number one, step one we did. Step two, we used that to do the production budget. Then we had the raw materials budget, the direct materials budget, and then the factory overhead budget, the selling expense budget, the general and administrative expense budget. We used that to create the cash budget here, and then the uh, budgeted cost of goods manufactured so that we can get the cost of goods manufactured number that we would then use to calculate the cost of goods sold number. We used that to then calculate the income statement. So we've done all that so far. We're going to bounce back and forth to some of these items in order to use them to create the balance sheet. The point we are at at the end of the time period, of course, 